So this here is one of the most underrated 2-in-1 touchscreen laptop that supports an active stylus pen. It's Lenovo Flex 5, a 14-inch laptop that routinely gets overshadowed by its more expensive cousins like Yoga 7. I feel that Flex 5 doesn't get the respect that it deserves. So in today's video, I will highlight 5 reasons why you should consider getting Lenovo Flex 5 as your next 2-in-1 laptop. The first reason why you should get Lenovo Flex 5 is its touch-enabled 14-inch Full HD display that supports Active Stylus Pen. The included Lenovo Digital Pen provides over 4000 levels of pressure sensitivity which is great for both sketching and note taking. When writing on any digital surface, the latency is very important because poor latency creates a delay between the tip of the pen and what you write on the screen. This results in a very suboptimal and unnatural writing experience. But Lenovo Flex 5's screen digitizer delivers very low latency when used with the included active pen. You also get excellent palm rejection which means one can comfortably rest their hand on the screen while making digital art, while sketching or jotting down notes. This pen works great with with many third-party apps. My favorites are Microsoft OneNote, Windows Ink Workspace and Autodesk Sketchbook and all these three apps are freely available on the Windows Store. Now the pen is powered by a single quadruple A battery that lasts for over a year, mitigating the pain of daily recharging your pen. So overall, I would say that the pen writing experience on Flex 5 laptop, it's comparable to the more expensive Yoga line of laptops from Lenovo. I also want to quickly talk about the display quality. So you are getting an LED backlit IPS panel with a maximum brightness of 250 nits that delivers 45% NTSC color gamut. This is a capacitive type 10 point multi-touch screen that supports all windows gestures. Since this is a glossy screen, the text looks sharp and colors look vibrant when watching pictures and videos, but you will notice annoying glares and reflections when using this laptop in a brightly lit room. The second reason why you should consider getting Lenovo Flex 5 is its amazing performance. Although you have a choice of going with the 11th generation Intel chips, I would recommend picking the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U configuration with 16GB RAM, 256GB storage and integrated Radeon graphics. This configuration is currently selling for $699 here in the United States, which I think is an awesome deal. Now the Ryzen 5 5500U CPU easily beats a comparable Intel processor by over 30% in multi-core benchmark. I find 16 gig of RAM in dual channel configuration plenty for demanding tasks like uh, video editing, software development, gaming and running multiple office productivity apps, typical stuff like Word, Excel, Outlook and Microsoft Teams. The integrated Radeon graphics is based on Vega architecture and it's powerful enough to play games like Fortnite in their default setting. Overall, Lenovo has done a great job packing powerful specs in this thin and light form factor. The third reason why you should consider getting Lenovo Flex 5 is its durable build quality. Although the top and bottom half are made from polycarbonate and ABS polymer, Lenovo has treated its outer surface with a grainy metallic coating that feels very grippy and secure when holding this laptop in your hands. Flex 5 weighs 1.5 kg or 3.3 pounds, making it a very light and easy to carry laptop. Since this is a 2-in-1 convertible laptop, the quality and durability of its hinge is very crucial. Flex 5 has two metallic hinges that provide sturdy support to the screen. So in laptop mode, this hinge provides ample resistance when pressing the touch screen with your fingers or using the active stylus pen. One can easily tap the screen and scroll with fingers without experiencing any noticeable wobbling. Okay, let's talk about the keyboard. So you're getting an island style backlit enabled keyboard that delivers great typing experience. So the keys offer good actuation force, there is plenty of travel distance and you get a springy tactile feedback. You also get a fingerprint sensor for passwordless login. Now let's quickly talk about the touchpad which is 4.9 by 2.7 inches in size. It offers a buttonless multi-touch surface made from plastic but it has this glass-like mylar coating. So all windows gestures including scrolling and pinch to zoom are supported. So overall, I feel that the build quality of this laptop is top-notch for the price. 
Now the fourth reason why you should consider getting Lenovo Flex 5 is its excellent thermals and battery life. So this laptop comes with a 3 cell 52.5 watt hour battery which is pretty beefy for a 14 inch 2 in 1 laptop. At 150 nits of brightness and default volume, I was able to get close to 12 hours of battery life in a local 1080p video playback. Now in PC Mark 10 battery test, which simulates real world usage by running common office applications at regular intervals, this laptop delivered around 8 hours of battery life. The included 65 watt AC adapter is able to charge this laptop from 0 to full in about 2 hours. It also supports fast charging, a 15 minute charge can add 2 hours of battery life, so that's really awesome. By the way, you can also charge this laptop via the USB Type-C connector, which is an added bonus. Now let's talk about the thermals. So Lenovo Flex 5 has one large cooling fan and it uses dual piped heat sink to keep the CPU cool. Under heavy workload, I found that this fan kept the laptop cool without getting too loud. Now the CPU never throttled and uh, it mostly operated well above its base clock frequency. So that tells me that Lenovo has done a really good job keeping you know everything cool. So overall, I'm quite impressed with the performance of this laptop considering this is a thin and light laptop and it's packing you know pretty good specs the battery life is good and overall thermal performance in my opinion is really nice now the fifth reason why you should consider getting lenovo flex 5 is it's no compromise design when it comes to port choices so you're getting the latest wi-fi 6 and bluetooth support you are getting two usb 3.2 gen 1 type a port you are getting one usb 3.2 gen 1 type c port and this supports both data transfer and power delivery 3.0 protocol you're also getting one hdmi port you're getting one multi-card reader for camera enthusiasts you're getting one headphone microphone combo jack in addition this laptop includes TPM 2.0 integrated chipset which means you get full Windows 11 compatibility. Now considering that this is a thin and light 2-in-1 laptop, I applaud Lenovo for not skimping on ports. Most other Windows OEMs have started skimping on ports, I guess they are trying to copy Apple. So kudos to Lenovo for providing all the important ports that you would expect in a laptop. But unfortunately it's not all bed of roses, there are problems with this laptop. My biggest issue with this laptop is the Potato 720p webcam. In 2022 when all of us are working from home i expect laptops to come with at least full hd resolution uh, webcam so that sucks now personally i use an external usb webcam and that gets the job done for me i hope that lenovo fixes this in their you know next iteration of this laptop and provide us with a full 1080p webcam but for the price i still think that you are getting a lot of bang for your bucks now if you are wondering how lenovo flex 5 pairs next to lenovo yoga 7 then check out this video over here in this video i compare the key features of both these laptops and declare a winner in the end. You will find this video very entertaining. So go ahead and watch this video and I will see you guys over there. Bye.